I I love you dearly, but how dearly do you love me? <laughs> no, come on, you you put it out there. I Scale love... of naught to ten. Ten and a half. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a list of the 40 most likely places where you would be abducted by aliens around the country. Most of them, I have to say, are outside of London and the London area, the surrounding countryside. I am utterly convinced that there are as many UFO sightings in and around London as there are outside of London. So if you've ever seen a UFO or you believe you've seen a UFO, They've got a, uh, a nationwide map in the Sun newspaper. Let's do a London-wide map here on this radio station. I need you to ring in. Tell me, not necessarily where you're from now, where you saw the UFO or where you saw some form of spacecraft or whatever it was, and then we can do a London map where you're most likely to be abducted as well. So if you fancied an Easter weekend away, for instance, and there was a lot of UFO activity up on Dartford Heath, take yourself up there, and you can always be abducted. Then you can vanish off. Come back on Monday and have a lovely time. So, wherever you spotted those UFOs, we'll start our London-wide map in a few moments' time. LBC 97.3. Going to come back to our conversation about uh, pet mourning, how difficult it is to get over the loss of a family, uh, have a family pet, but also they've put together a countrywide map concerning UFOs and aliens. Why don't we do it for the capital? 20 minutes before nine. I can't believe I go straight 